Welcome to the capital of Andhra Pradesh, Amravati, which is being designed incorporating best practices from around the world. By involving people in the development of the new capital through the land pooling scheme, the overall vision of Amravati is to be a people's capital. The master plan for Amravati consists of a hierarchy of roads for efficient and fast movement of people in the city. The roads have been designed keeping in mind encouragement of public transport, pedestrian movement, walkability and cycle tracks, inclusiveness and quick point-to-point -point commute. The major arterial are 60 meter wide roads that provide high-speed regional connectivity to Amravati. Vehicles will move at an average speed of over 80 kilometers on these roads. These are access controlled roads on elevated corridors. The arterial roads are 50 meter wide roads and provide for fast commute within major nodes and townships within the city. The roads are access controlled and vehicles will move at an average speed of 50 kilometers. The sub-arterial roads, which are also 50 meter wide roads, supports the arterial network and provides access to the townships and neighborhoods. These roads prioritize the public transport systems, including metro and bus rapid transit system. The collector roads, which are 25 meter wide roads, are the main distributors for traffic at neighborhood level. Collector roads are designed for high social interaction, safe pedestrian and NMT movement. The speeds on these roads are no more than 30 km per hour. The local roads are designed as safe urban streets, promoting safety, walkability and social interactions. These roads are of 17 meters, 15.6 meters or 12 meters in width with low speeds to ensure safe pedestrian and cycle movement. The entrance to the city will be from a trumpet interchange at Tarepalli and will enter the city through an elevated corridor. This road called the Seed Access Road connects right into the central business district of Amravati. This road provides for three-lane traffic movement on either side with a central BRT corridor. There are pedestrian pathways and cycle track on both sides providing for safe pedestrian movement. The minimum width of pedestrian pathway shall be 2 meters, ensuring through pedestrian movement and universal access along with free wheelchair movement. The surface material used will also be anti-skid to avoid any mishaps and will have tactile flooring as per global standards, ensuring safety and accessibility for the visually challenged. A well-connected cycle track will be a common feature in all the streets in Amravati. The bicycle lane shall be constructed with a smooth finished pigmented cement concrete or asphalt to ensure easy maintenance and a smooth riding surface. Minimum width of 2 meters for the bicycle track will be ensured. There will be a multi-function zone between the cycle track and the motorized traffic that will also act as a buffer. Street furniture like benches, dustbins, signages and street lights shall be planned within the multi-function zone. Trees shall be planted all along the streets within the multi-function zone. Tree grades are to be planned for all the plantations in this zone. Dedicated green corridors for tree plantation are provided to create comfortable walking environment. All the utilities including power, ICT, water supply, sewerage and reuse, storm water and gas will be placed below the ground level on either sides of the carriageway. The sub-arterial junction is planned for an integrated vehicular movement prioritizing public transport and pedestrian and cycle movement. The bus stops are placed close to the junctions for ease of access to the commuters. The utilities are provided on either side of the carriageway, except for PAR and ICT, 
which is placed below the median. The sub-arterial roads will provide access to commercial hubs, town centers and also provides access to public transport systems. Adequate bicycle parking will be provided at various locations with specific focus around high density and commercial areas. A U-turn lane is provided to facilitate the left-in left-out movement of 25 meter wide collector streets at junctions from collector roads to local roads. The 25 meter roads provides four lanes of traffic divided by a central median there are dedicated cycle tracks, multi-function zone and pedestrian pathways on either side of the road. The stormwater, water supply and sewerage lines are placed below the carriageway whereas the other utilities such as power and ICT, gas, reuse and rider sewer lines for household connections will be on the verge. The same configuration is followed for all local roads there will be stormwater drains at every 30 meters and inspection chambers every 300 meters for maintenance of all the underground utilities. Amravati will be a completely dig-free city. The 25 meter, 17 meter junction is the meeting point for people from the same neighborhood or urban block. There will be a 2.5 acre neighborhood park in one of the corner plots all the junctions and crossings in the neighborhood will be provided with pelican signals to ensure safe pedestrian movement. Also, the junctions in the residential and retail streets, where high pedestrian activity is expected, will have tabletop design to slow down fast-moving traffic. The 17-meter road will have two lanes of traffic with dedicated cycle tracks, multi-function zone, and pedestrian pathways on either side of the road. Bollards shall be provided at plot entrances. The utilities under this road follow the same configuration as the 25 meter road. All the 17 by 15.6 junction will have one acre community parks. All parks shall be designed such that they can be universally accessible Pedestrian crossings shall be provided throughout the neighborhood, ensuring that the distance between two adjacent crossings shall not be more than 200 meters. The 15.6 meter road will have residential plots on either side and will have two lanes of traffic. The roads will also have dedicated cycle tracks and pedestrian pathway. The school zone, which is in the 15.6 meter road, will have separate drop-off zones in front of the school for safe pickup and drop of children. The utilities under this road follow the same configuration as the other local roads. The 12 meter road will have pedestrian controlled signalized crossings or pelican signals and have a single undivided traffic lane. The utilities under this road follows the same configuration as the local roads. The experience of walking and living in the neighborhood is greatly enhanced with well-designed streets and world-class infrastructure. With these streets and infrastructure in place, Amravati will be one of the most walkable and livable cities in the world. Amravati, the people's capital.